Let us give a character some soft body parts. This is a, a character I created earlier, way earlier in the 90s. And here he's walking and the obvious part of him that could be soft are those big ears. So we're going to make his ears flap using soft body dynamics. Um, this scene um, on frame zero contains still the Jesus pose, the bind pose. And we're going to use that uh, while we create all the um, dynamics. So in the dynamics tab, there's a soft rigid body menu. If we select the mesh and go to soft rigid body, create soft body and make sure to hit the option uh, box. Let's just reset the settings so we uh, are on the same page. Creation options, default is make soft. We want to uh, duplicate and make the copy soft. The original is a mesh that's bound to skeleton and we want to keep that bind. We do not need to see the rigid object anymore, or the uh, not soft mesh. And we do want the non-soft version, the skinned mesh, to be a goal. So we're going to select make it a goal. And we're going to set the weight to 1, so it's completely following the bound mesh. So we're going to create that. Um, if you look at the outliner, you will see that under the, there's a copy of body now that's being created. And under that copy of the body, there's a particle system, and that's our actual um, soft body. Let's see what this looks like. There is no change, except that he flaps his arms on frame zero. The reason is that we chose to have a weight of one for the goal. We want most of the body to have a weight of 1, but the ears should have a lower weight, so they will act dynamically. In order to do that, we're going to go back to frame 0, um, and we're going to, from the soft rigid body menu, select paint soft body weights tool. Of course, we need to have the mesh selected to do that. There we go, and if we were clever, we would have taken the options with it. So let's look at the options. It's a normal paint tool, and we're painting the um, goal per particle attribute. We're going to use the replace paint mode, and it's all white, and white means a value of 1. That means it's completely sticking to the goal. We're going to have to give the ears a lower value, for instance, 0.25. And we're going to paint on the ears. And you see it's actually painting on both ears, and that's because I turned on in Stroke. Go to Stroke. I turned on Reflection across X. So we're going to paint both ears. Let's get this out of the way a bit. And zoom in a bit. And paint on the ears. Make a nice little gradient not doing the reflection very well, so we're just going to paint this one as well. Those ears are not completely symmetrical, and that's why the reflection might be kind of off. Now we definitely do not want to paint anything that's on the head. We don't want anything soft there. So we're going to set our value back to 1, and make the brush a bit smaller by holding down B, and just paint all the stuff that we don't want completely white. See there's an E and C, B and C with a value onto the top there. Okay, roughly that will do. The ears are grayish and the head is still white. I'm going to make it a bit bigger and paint it a little bit smoother. That's a bit too much. Uh, paint it a little bit smoother like this. Okay, so the ears are have a value of 0.25 where the um, head has a value of 1. So let's my fella and see what this actually does, does if I put him in motion. Those ears are wiggling way behind.
Now there's a couple of things that are happening. One of the things is that you can see that it's moving into position slowly. That's because on frame 1 he's standing upright and then on frame 2 he's actually in a down position. So it takes him a frame or something to catch up. Um, we can fix that by going uh, to our animation editor, our graph editor, and there is our graph editor. If I select my character and switch to the dope sheet, it's probably a good idea to take all these frames and move them out to start at, for instance, frame 25 instead of frame 1. What happens now, if I get rid of my graph editor again and I hit play, you see it has time to get into place. It's still wiggling way too much. But at least it's starting to do something. So the next thing is to um, go back to our outliner. There's the outliner. And select the particle system. And if you select the particle system in the channel editor, you can see all the properties. And the weight is indeed set to 1, because we set it to 1 when we created it. The goal smoothness is set to 3. If you set it even higher and play the animation, you'll see that it gets to be even slower. It's way smoother. It's hardly moving the edges. Now, if we set it to, for instance, 1, it's going to stick to the original more. So you can and you see you can actually get a little bit of flapping on the ears. It's a bit too much still, so in this case we might actually want to go for a 0.25, although I think we probably want to 0.25 is a bit, a bit too little, so 0.5. Um, the other option would be to paint it not with a 0.25, but, but with a 0.5 and get a, a softer result. But you see, if you look at the animation, that is now, he indeed does have flapping ears as he's walking. So we created a soft body on this fella.